Here's to you. Mm. Happy Thursday, everybody. It is Thursday, right? Eventually I'll know what day it is without having to look. But it is Thursday. It's the first day of March. 60 days into 2012. You would still write 2011 on your checks if you wrote checks today. But no one writes checks anymore. Can you believe it? The year is one-sixth over. And you and I are older all the time. By Thursday, I usually collect enough messages that I really need to stop futzing around and catch up. So without ado, let's go straight to the W, where a long-time commuter service is first. He says, I rather like it when you just talk about whatever pops into your head. We get good shit like you trying to do crazy stuff with your eyes. Still can't do it. That'll get old real fast, I promise, if I keep doing it. Some days are better than others when it comes to being extemporaneous. But again, I should wait for a day when I have nothing to do that. Helpful advice. There's a trick you can do on camera where you stick your head out forward and stretch your neck a little, and it makes you look not quite as fat. I want to look super fat. The exact opposite. Look how fat I am. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm not particularly worried about that. I'd asked this before, what do all your jelly bracelets stand for? That's not what these are, by the way. And I've answered it on VU. I'm sure of it, but we'll do it again. This is uh, my current Paralyzed Veterans of America bracelet. It has been swapped out for the Ron Paul 2008 bracelet because it's not really 2008 anymore, which originally swapped out a long-faded PVA bracelet. This is last year's NASCAR Unites bracelet. If this year's is different, I'll probably buy that one and swap it out. This is MnDOT's Stay Back, Stay Alive to let you know that when they're plowing, you should stay behind the plow and not run into the plow, lest your car look like Wampa La Montoya is running into a jet dryer. Actually, that's out of order. This green one should be in the middle, so here we go. Now yeah, that are in order. This is Matthew's way. Matthew had cancer, and unfortunately he is no longer with us, but as a means of raising money while he was alive, he sold these bracelets, which was perfect because I needed one that color. And it makes me think of him, so that's cool. Lastly, of course, Livestrong started it all. Now you know. You should talk more about Danica crashing. That never gets old. Hey, remember when Danica crashed? Man, that never gets old. Doug didn't like my uh, last train to, tran to Trans Central mix. I doubt you can even hear this Love is the Message mix, but uh, we'll pretend you can. Much is made of your cheapness, mostly by me, but is there anything out there for which... The price does not matter. Whenever I go have a birthday dinner, uh, I don't care how much the steak costs. Actually, there's a lot of things I'm not big on, don't care about what the price is, but um, none of them are coming to mind. But it's often a brand loyalty issue, where I'll be so loyal to the brand I will pay extra. This is actually not one of them. I was intrigued uh, when I went to see a, a new store brand at the grocery store I was at, Dr. Storm. But they had Diet Dr. Storm, but they didn't have Diet Dr. Storm in the two-liter bottle, which is what I really wanted to try. So I passed up, because you don't, you don't want to get 12 cans and then find out it's awful. But that is an example of me waiting on price. Because otherwise I'd just take the investment to know what it tasted like. So anyway, will you be watching Dancing with the Stars this season now that Dial Driver is on? No, I have never watched it and never will. I've seen maybe five minutes of it. But if I wasn't going to watch it when Stacey Keebler is on, 
you know, I love the Packers and all, but I am straight. Fine, man, that's Urkel is on the show. Oh, well. You know what? I never watched Family Matters either, so there must be something wrong with me. 30 regular viewers, huh? I thought we were a much more exclusive group than that. Eh, 30 to 50. It's probably closer to 50, but at any one time, half of them are skipping episodes. I don't know. When you think that there are probably thousands of people pulling off this feat on YouTube, I'm happy with what I can get. I mean, it helps that everybody watching already knows me, definitely. There are no complete strangers watching this, I'm sure. And if there are, there's got to be something better to watch. Please, move on. The snow I didn't get has reached Maine. I'm getting a foot of snow on Thursday. That's good to know. Kids don't need any more stinking days off from school. Oh, you poor man. Spending time with your children. What a shame. JJ Dean. I like the old other glasses better. I like these glasses better. That's why I wear them all the time. Uh, he said I jinxed Danica. I did not. Tony Raines' crazy evasive moves in that one crash were ignored because of the Santorum ad, which is kind of ironic. Mm, no. Disclaimer, I didn't actually think that. Well, why would you type it? I don't know. We should all be fortunate enough to one day make pie money. Isn't that the truth? Pie Man said, not so much that I actually have two TVs side by side. We've only got one small HDTV for five of us. Damn liberal arts education. Oh, pie man. It's so tough being you. Hey, my song ended. That means I have three minutes left. I had a comment on Google+. And by the way, thank you, Kevin Marshall, for your comments on Google+, which I ignored for a week. Although I did answer them there. Um, always nice to be on your radar. But Dave responded back, and he said that I mispronounced his last name. The wonders of the online world, all these years, you've never needed to know how to pronounce my last name. It's a long O. I'm sorry, Dave Hogg. Dave Hogg. And I was swerved because at theotherarena.com, they always called him Boss Hogg. But Dave suggests that they didn't know how to pronounce his name either, which I suppose is possible after you see it in print over and over. I never actually pronounce it. But if I see H-O-G-G, -G, one show I did watch is The Dukes of Hazard, So I can be forgiven. Sorry, Dave Hogue. I'm going to try to remember. Oh! Lastly to Facebook and to Penny. Who said? I wish you had kept my comment up so you wouldn't have to type it in now and find it again. She didn't actually say that. That's what I said. Nerds. Where is that comment? I'll get it in a minute, Penny. There it is. Oh, I just liked it. So she said my pink shirt wasn't pink. It was pink. It really was. I just... We're all kind of washed out here with all the colors and things. I am actually wearing black. This is black. This is a company shirt. I've worn a lot of company shirts this week. That's mostly coincidental. Go T-Wolves. Back to back to back. Oh, yesterday's game was awful. If the rain was frozen, wouldn't that be considered hail? Mm, it wasn't hail because it didn't stay ice. Basically, as soon as it lands, it's water. So it's freezing rain, but it it's meteorologically makes sense. You'd have to be there, I guess. I prefer warm, warm rain in Hawaii, as do we all. You can find the best salt for the grinder at saltworks.com. You know what? I went to saltworks.com, and I think you are thinking of the site I referenced, saltworks.us, because saltworks.com only sells bath salts, and I'm more interested in eating salts. Our favorite is from Brazil. It's special because it's from the clean ocean current. I looked it up, and it looks very pretty and very pure and very white, and I'm not sure if I want to spend 11.40 on a five-pound bag or not, but I'm thinking I might. I don't know. Man, I don't need any more salt, but I do. Isn't it something that over the internet you and I can talk about salt? I bet you never saw that coming. I certainly didn't. What else you got? I've forbidden my honey from buying any more salt for a while. Lastly, I think the chicken-like pieces sounds pretty nasty. Well, oh, you you have to enjoy cup noodles. 
Although I do like rich foods. Well, rich for cup noodles. The glasses look fine. Yeah, everybody loves the glasses. I did wear them for a year and a half before I got these, so. Uh-oh, I got another email. Have a great day. Stay warm in the freezing rain. Thank you. It's not raining anymore. When I went home, the snow was as heavy as I thought it was going to be. It was awful. But as you can see, I did not have a heart attack. In fact, the exercise did good for me. And look how much thinner I am because I'm sticking my chin out so you can't see any more chins. Yeah. But today, 6.30, currently 34 degrees. We had a high near 40, but not quite. So all that snow is just kind of slushing up even more if that's possible. And I can't slush anymore because I'm over 11 minutes now and i got to go. So we'll wind up the big week tomorrow. Thank you for watching. And because I'm mostly, if not completely, caught up on comments, if you don't say something, it's going to be extemporaneous tomorrow. And nobody wants that except service. So thank you. Good night.